If you don't already know, hey guys, my name is Macy, and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a yoga flow to help you connect to your root chakra. Your root chakra is your lower mist chakra down here um, by your butthole, and it represents security and insecurities, anxiety and depression has to do with this chakra. Um, fears and addictions are related to this chakra so bringing some balance to this chakra it can moving energy around can begin shifting huge aspects of your life because anything from financial security to depression can be very heavy and impactful aspects of anyone's life and so for this yoga flow that's meant to root us down uh, to Mother Earth through our root chakra. Uh, I ask that you be barefoot and if you can be outside that's ideal. If you have a nice grassy area I recommend doing it right on the grass. You don't even need a blanket. Um, I also recommend bringing in the color red to this practice. I just picked a rhododendron on my way up to the spot. Um, it doesn't have to be a flower but if it is, that's another really powerful connector to the root chakra. All plants have roots and are rooted to Mother Earth and want to help you with their healing energy. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it at the head of my mat just to help keep my intentions in mind during this root chakra flow, yoga flow. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started on the yoga bit. So we're gonna go ahead and start in a seated position. Make sure you're in a comfortable seat. You could be cross-legged. Um, you could do half lotus if that's comfortable for you or um, full lotus. I'm gonna do yoga uh, full lotus to start. And um, hands to the knees. Bring your ring finger and your thumb together. I forget the name of this one, but it's uh, a mudra that goes with your root chakra and uh, the sound that goes with the meditation for your root chakra is LAM, L-A-M. So we're going to take a few breaths here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Pull the breath up from your root chakra all the way up to the chakra on the top of your head. Your crown chakra. Big full belly breath release. And on this next exhale, we're gonna say lamb. Lamb. time. Lamb. Lamb. Go ahead and take your hands over your heart. Take a deep breath. Feel the vibrations, the energy. Set your intentions for coming to the mat today to work on your root chakra energy. Go ahead and unfold your legs, put them out straight in front of you. And we're gonna do a seated forward fold, but focus on pushing your legs into the ground at every spot from your sit bones to your heels, rather than the bend. More focus on the legs, so come up. Press into the ground with your legs, you exhale, come forward and bend. Don't let your chin fall to your chest, but let your neck relax. Mm -hmm. 
reach on your inhales. Extend. Relax on your exhales. Keep pressing your legs into the ground, your thighs, your calves, your ankles, your heels rather. One more breath here. Come back up. And we're gonna take our legs out to either side. Nice and wide. Big breath here. We're gonna walk our hands forward on the mat. Just to wherever you feel the stretch. You'll feel the stretch on your inner thigh. Don't have to go very far down to feel it. Take a few deep breaths here. Keeping your toes pointed up towards the sky. Knees pointed toward the sky. Legs point pressing into the ground, rooting down the Mother Earth. Relax the neck, relax the jaw if it's clenched. One leg in, bring my right leg in, left leg out. Arms reach up high above your head, twist your whole trunk towards your left foot, and come down, forehead towards your knee. Pressing your heel, your calf, your thigh, your sit bone into the ground here. After a few breaths, bring this arm up above your head, look up towards your hand, begin sprouting like a flower. I'm going to follow this all the way back up to center. And then we're going to switch sides. Twist the whole trunk, exhale down. Relax your neck. Lengthen on your inhale. Relax on your exhale. Bring your arm above your head. Follow your hand with your eyes. Nice and slow here. Begin blossoming up like a flower towards the sun. Back to center. All right. Little tiny butterfly here, bring your feet together and massage the bottoms of your feet, flap your wings. <sighs> All right, we'll bring our feet in front of us, um, about hip width apart. Our hands are gonna come out behind us. I like to have uh, my fingers facing my butt and my hips instead of behind, just facing. And we're going to lift our legs up, and uh, this is a modified boat pose, and if you feel strong here, you can lift your arms up and come into full boat pose. We're going to hold this for a few breaths. If this is easy too, you can challenge yourself more by leaning back and straightening your legs out. Exhale. 
lambat. So instead of just standing right up here, we're going to take our feet out wide to the side with our toes straight forward. Use your elbows to push your way up. Come into a low squat with your toes always in front of your knees, your knees behind your toes. And we're going to come uh, hands in prayer to your heart. Use your elbows to push your knees further apart. Feel the deep hip stretch here. After a couple of breaths, we're gonna come into a deep squat twist. So take your right arm up behind you and your left arm down to the ground, reach behind you and see if you can bring your hands together. If you can't, your fingers are just barely touching, that's fine. If you need to stay here, this is still a great twist. Bring your hands together behind you to the full benefit. Warm your spine up for the crow pose we're about to do here in a moment. to center, pushing the knees apart with your elbows, keeping your knees behind your toes, then we're going to go into the other side, so reach up with your left arm behind yourself, down with your right arm, and try to bring your hands together, like so. Really open up your heart to the sky. Feel the spinal stretch here. Come back to center. And release the squat. Come on to your butt. Um, legs out front again. I'm going to take our left leg and cross it over our right. And take our right elbow, put it on our left knee, and twist back. Take a few breaths here. Switch sides. A little bit of a deeper spinal stretch. Next pose we're going to do is plow pose. So lay down on the ground, brace yourself with your hands, your feet come up, straight up, and then you send them over your head towards the ground as you push down with your hands. Push your heels towards the ground. Take a few breaths here. And we're going to transition from here back into boat pose. So slow and controlled. Back up the boat. going to just go ahead and put our knees down, a little lunge, come up into the foot, and on an inhale, bring your arms up above your head, and reach back behind you, 
pushing the top of your foot and your calf into the ground. Or your shin, rather. And we're gonna switch sides. So, transition to the plank. Bring your other foot up in between your hands. Do you have lady please move? Knee to the ground. Flatten the foot out in the back. And then inhale. Rise up. Push up out of that hip. Look up towards the sky. Bring your hands behind your head and start bending back. Back to a low squat. <sighs> We're gonna just push up on the ground, come to a standing forward fold. Yeah, loosen it all out here, any tightness. We just did a couple of nice muscle building stretches. So. Hang loose for as long as you need to. Come back up when you're ready. Shake it out. All right. So, made it to last sequence. Arms above your head. We're gonna come into chair pose. So, with your feet hip width apart, begin to sink down like you're sitting into a chair. Keep your knees behind your toes. Reach up, tuck your hips. Don't stick your booty up, tuck your hips in. You're gonna bring your hands to your chest to prayer. You're gonna twist to one side, into the right side first. Bring your hands to the ground. Feel your hips against your right elbow, your knees near your left. And you're just gonna start transferring your weight from your hip and your knee onto your elbows. As you lean your upper body forward, counterbalance your weight, and your feet come off the ground. Don't forget to breathe. shake out of the wrist and we'll try to do the other side so mountain chair hands to heart twist hands to the floor hip to elbow knee to elbow and lean your upper body forward as if she can off the ground. <sighs> Straighten your leg out as you become more advanced, but alas, I'm not that advanced. <sighs> so there you have it. There's crow pose and how to do it. <sighs> Always want to stretch your wrists out afterwards. Loosen them. Any sort of wrist stretch for him is a real good one. Just backwards on the ground. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I'll show you guys one more time up close. Mountain. Come down into chair. You twist to the side. My elbow here at my knee. My back elbow at my hip. Press clawing into the ground with my hands. As you lean your weight from your legs onto your elbows. And gently come back down to your feet. And that is how you do side curl. A couple more poses to finish out this root chakra flow. 
gonna do a child's pose here. So knees nice and wide, wide as your mat, toes together. And reach up to the top of your mat, let your forehead kiss the ground. Few breaths there. Roll around to your back. Palms up. We're gonna come into corpse pose. You can hang out here as long as you want to. This is our last pose. Breathe deeply. Feel a change in your body, in your energy. Thank you all for joining me today in my practice. I wish you all balanced root chakras. Namaste.